John from AL3G and I'm just uh, looking at I've changed the name of this lady to um, actually uh, Camilla in shorts All right. now I, one of the first things you want to do is um, make sure that you've got your Unreal Live Link plugin All right. and that's a basic uh, plugin you've either bought for um, iClone 7 and uh, it gets updated automatically for iClone 8 and then the same thing is with your auto setup make sure uh, you've gone to this page here and this download link here is the new content and plugin that you can use for all of the releases you can use it for 4.6, 4.7 and 5 um, but it has particular uh, instructions if you want to go backwards into 4.6 uh, and 7 with this plugin. Now, once so you're on this page here, sorry, now that we're on this auto setup page here, go down to this download link, press download on that one. Now, this file here will open up, save it in your downloads folder. Once that's downloaded, hit yes. That happened because I pressed it three times and it went to install three times. Okay, so then we just press next, agree to the terms, next, next. And one of the most important things about keeping everything in the same drive, like if you let it, it install, all the Real Illusion products, every product install into the actual um, default directory that it wants to. One new feature I found is that all your downloads in iClone, uh, in Character Creator 4 and iClone 8, you don't have to download twice. It'll realize that it's it'll sync between the folders. So it ends up with one sort of major folder. Um, here we are looking at, so for all the versions of Unreal, these are now the new plugins that you will use. You go into there, you grab your plugins and your content, and uh, copy that. Um, and that's when you go back into one of your, um, the actual program you're doing. So I was into Cyborg Girl, and uh, copy it into there. I've already put them in, so I'll skip. But once you've done that, then it's just a matter of, that's, um, then we'll go back and reopen up the program. Um, uh, when you're into your Unreal project, uh, if I was to go back into my content and then right click, go up into Show into Explorer, well, what you want to do is find that folder, which is basically the folder that you've got the project in. Okay, so find that, um, that folder, which uh, if you went to I'm gonna open too many things off my computer will crash. Um, I've got that much open. So if you went to um, uh, your library and basically say that I've called this one Cyborg Girl, right click it, show in folder, and then there's the same thing. And then drag and drop the plugins that you get from iClone into this or each project that you do. So once you've done that, right, uh, you've dropped them in. And you'll open up your episode of five. Um, go to your settings, your plugins, and go to your iClone. And make sure that both of these are ticked. And restart your editor. Um, go up to here. And make sure you've clicked that to high Q standard. Apply. All right, so that's there. Um, with iClone, we've got the her. Go to your i now. As long as you've got. It installed you'll be able to go to your live link and once you click that this tab will open up so I've grabbed Camilla shorts and it's a matter of hitting um, actually if I minimize this down uh, anyway so if I hit there that's set there and all I have to do is um, there's a live link 
treasure file. And it didn't take too long before, actually. Um, I was doing Camilla in the other sense that she was, with her style. But it is a little bit of a process. But there's a benefit to it all because of the way that um, uh, once you've got it going over into UE5, the uh, transition is that it completely changes itself into the UE5 skeleton and is completely ready to just add the uh, Quinn or the um, many uh, animations to your character. There's no a um, few times that I dropped in uh, the same character right, that I exported from iClone and I just dropped it into here. It was, it walked funny, it moved funny, it didn't quite um, fit in with the skeleton of uh, the actual UE5 mannequin. And I thought, oh yeah, there's going to be a bit of tweaking there. But <clears throat> the lovely part is when you transfer this over here via iClone and with the MetaHuman Live link and those two folders put in so you've got the uh, auto set up for five and you've got your um, shader on th high and you've got the two big set up then you shall get a fantastic result as you'll see in a minute excellent okay now it's going to actually take a snippet. As you know, it's a brilliant little application that we have in Windows. Hit new and take any picture you want. Bang. But you got to get it, give it a new name. And that is uh, IC82UE5. So now that's all done there. It it doesn't appear anywhere in the floor here. Um, well, because we didn't actually use the create live link origin and put down a point. Now all we have to do is, as you can see, I'll give you a quick look. She has transferred over absolutely perfect. Okay, perfect as you want. And it's now a matter. Of uh, going back into content, go to your characters, go to uh, mannequins, animations, go to many, right click, select uh, uh, the bottom one, okay, and then uh, we want to go Quinn, right, and then we'll go Camilla, oh, sorry, wrong one, I've already done that, I'm gonna go Camilla Shorts, right. I'm going to change it to the RL folder of Camilla Shorts so it stays contained and hit retarget. Alright, now, as you can see, right click, rename. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, we shall get rid of that. Must admit, Unreal deletes a lot better now. So I'm going to call that Camilla Shorts. And, uh, okay, then what I'll do is go back to the content. I'm going to save all while I've got that. Make sure you save all. Uh, and then I'm going to go to third person, blueprints, put in my third person character. Uh, let's bring that over here. And then what I've done here is I've got basically a, um, uh, this, the set skeleton mass changer. So that will change into uh, Quinn, number one, number two is Manny, number three is Camilla. And so I'm going to grab uh, this here. Okay. Um, just for the sake of being neat. Take that down, put that in there. Put it there, make that number four. And uh, then. Uh, Go up to here, Camilla Shorts. Go up to there, and we want Camilla Shorts. Hit compile, save, and with a bit of luck, if we hit play, right? 
Now number one, <coughs> I have Quinn. Number two, I've got uh, number uh, Manny. Number three, um, I've actually got the lovely lady. And number four, I have the lovely lady here. Walking with a slightly masculine walk, I'll work on that, but at the same time, yay, I am the mannequin. All right, so that's how easy it is to import from, um, right, and no faults. So save all, excellent. So that's how easy it is to import um, from Icon 8, any character you want. Got the links, straight in, third person, UE5. Hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you very much.